Good money to you, my friends. I'm Cork, and this is Outer Wilds. This is a game that I've had for a very long time. Remember Subnautica? It's a Subnautica situation over here. So I bought this game a long time ago, and I never played it. I started it a couple times. I don't know why I didn't play. It looks like a lot of fun. But I decided since, you know, I'm doing YouTube, might as well just pop it on the channel because it's actually a really popular game. People really, really like it. And from what I've seen, it's kind of like Space Subnautica, but not really, because there's no like base building, I don't think. I don't know what it is really, honestly. I haven't seen much of it. So we're gonna experience it today. It tells me that it's best played with a controller. So I'm gonna use a controller. It's time to wake up. <sighs> That's what I do when I wake up, for sure. What is happening in the sky? Wait, 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 what is this? Okay. A marshmallow. Oh, don't mind if I do roast that. Hold on, where was it? Oh, man. It's just gonna be a good idea to play. Oh, it's on the fire. I'll roast one. Oh, my goodness, there's a minigame for this. Okay, um, this is the way I like my marshmallows. Yep, that's it. That's it right there. <laughs> okay. I'm not even kidding. Whoops. Uh, well, we'll just uh, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. I'm not even kidding. That's the way I eat my marshmallows, but that's neither here nor there. Let's talk to Slate. There's our pilot back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. I mean, you are standing right here, or sitting. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. Oh, well, that sounds like a great idea. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's fueled up and ready to go. Um, I'm ready if you are. You sure you fixed the retro rockets? That was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Uh, sure. Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just be just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay, it's a touching moment. I don't know if this is best played with a controller, but I'm gonna... Oh, requires launch codes. I'm gonna take the word for it, the developer's word for it. I can see myself. Oh my, the jump is hold and release. That's interesting and unique. Seems like there's a little bit of stuttering when I turn the camera, but it might just be motion blur or something that I'm not used to. Hello? Uh, Mika, that's not the person I'm supposed to find. Hey, it's you! Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space, aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Uh... Hey, I'm still going. I want to practice with a pro before I leave. I hear you and Slate beefed up the model ship. Can I see it? There's a model ship? Yeah, we recalibrated the controls and installed better thrusters. We want to give it a test drive. Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you've got. Oh, this is gonna be, uh... This is gonna be something. Okay. Up and down is right trigger and left trigger. Horizontal thrust is, uh... Those things. Okay. Upsy daisy Upsy daisy. Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? I'm landing on one of those. Okay I'm gonna land on the small one because I'm a pro gamer. Look at that Is that good? Did I did I do it? Uh, It's dark. It's light. D does this not qualify or something? Whoa mayday mayday Well, I, I did it, but I guess your game is broken. So you know what I'm leaving Bye. Uh, ooh, a whole bunch of equipment and stuff. If this is my spacesuit, uh, I feel like it could be a little bit more thorough. I don't know about this one. They said at the observatory, right? I guess I would probably be up above. Ooh, observatory. All right, I'm a going up. I'm going up, up, up. Zero G cave. Oh, that sounds like fun. I might have to make a pit stop there if you know what I'm talking about. That waterfall is loud. There seems to be a lot of differing in the volumes here. I don't know. Like, the music is kind of soft and subtle. What? Why does it keep happening like this? Are we going under a, like, solar eclipse every couple seconds? I mean, I don't know what this planet does, but I don't know, it seems kind of strange. Ooh. Err, I can't read it. Danger! Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that is invisible to the naked eyes. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through the ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Hornfells, that's the dude I'm supposed to look for. Use the camera. I'm gonna take a snapshot. Oh, that's cool. Huh. 
I'll bet that's gonna come into play later. Or maybe even sooner. Okay, don't wanna go down there. Oh, I've got a flashlight. Hello. Uh, you probably shouldn't be messing with that, you know? It's kind of dangerous and stuff. I'll bet this is the dude I'm supposed to talk to. Uh, short little fella. Nope, never mind. That's just a kid. Um, this is the zero G, zero G cave. Hmm. Seems like fun. I want to go. Oh, it's looking like a starry night sky out here. In here. Down here? This is really, really far down. Oh, my shadow. That kind of startled me for a second. Oh, I go this way. Uh, oh, I wouldn't call this zero G, but it is low G. <laughs> oh, I hit my head. Okay, you know, that's cool and everything, but I feel like I'm going to get lost in here. And I kind of want to get this game going, so let's get out of here. Are you the person I'm supposed to talk to? Is it you? No, that's Hal. I don't need to talk to Hal. But I'm in the observatory, I believe. Finally. Hello. I believe this is the man. Hornfells. There's the dude. There you are. Just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomai Translator 2. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. What's it do? We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once, you've, once you're in space? I'm going to learn more about the Nomai. I'll meet up with other travelers. I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. I think I'll start with something small. I don't know. I'm going to wing it. I want to go somewhere no one's ever gone before. I like it. You'll have plenty of options to choose from. Ooh, no one's ever landed on the interloper before. You know, perhaps you'll be the first. What's the interloper? Is that a meteorite or something? Asteroid? I don't know. Whatever. Comet? Well, it looks like that's all that's left to send you off. It's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to get off this rock. I'm ready to die in space. I'm <laughs> not one for superstition. But isn't that kind of unlucky to say before a launch? Maybe a little bit. At any rate, here are the launch codes. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are very, are very, our ships are every bit as safe as Slate could be persuaded to make them. That's that's great. Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help with anything. Cool. Uh, ooh, a map. Whoa, hey. Whoa. Whoa, what's what's this? What's this going on? Brittle Hollow, the interloper. Oh, it is a comet. I was right. The Hourglass Twins, Dark Bramble, Giant's Deep. Hmm, okay. Seems like those are the planets I can go to. Uh, what did I just walk into here? Hey. Um, okay. I am seeing visions. Past memories that are... That was all my gameplay. It just saved. That's cool. Okay, I like that method of saving. That's cool, it's so cinematic. Wow. Oh, hey, 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 so did you get a good look at the Nomai statue? Uh, the statue looked at me and opened its eyes. Yes, I did. Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So its eyes opened and you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around. You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking. You know what? Don't worry about it. No, that statue is definitely weird. Eh, don't worry about it. Maybe you should sit down for a bit and take it easy. I'd hate for anything bad, bad to happen if you tried to launch while you're not feeling great. I feel fine. But hey, when you're ready, you can make most of the translator too. Sniff. I can't believe it's it's all grown up and leaving for space already. You say if you want a short trip to just get space legs under, you could check out the ruins in the altar at Rock. I'd love to learn about those. Good luck and safe flying. Okay, bye, Hal. Uh, I wonder, is there fall damage? It's probably not fall damage, it's a space game. Let's find out. Uh, oh. Well, I guess that answers that question. Ooh, am I respawning right now at the statue? Oh, this is cool. Uh, whoa. Ah, I'm here. I'm alive. The thing is falling again. Where am I? Okay, at least I have the launch code still. Um, I was thinking it restarted me. Oh, hold up! You want to get launch codes from... I already got them from the observatory, remember? 
Uh, must be inhaling more fumes, and I realize that stuff is potent. Well, if you got the goats, I'm not gonna stop you. Good luck and take care of that ship. Okay, well, I guess I'm going up here. I'm really confused as to what happened. Did I reset? Did I not reset? Are we good? This is a cool looking spaceship. Wow. That's fun. Okay, um, I guess I should go up. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, look, my suit. <laughs> and, uh, no more tutorial, just on my own. View ship log. What's this do? Um, oh. So these are all the planets, and I can view more information on them as I go. What happens if I suit up? Oh, that's cool. <gasps> Whoa, look at this HUD. Do I have like a jetpack or something? Huh. Guess not. Maybe I do. I don't know. Probably when I'm in space. That's cool. Okay, uh, I guess it's time to go. Okay. Hold right trigger to lift off. Uh, we are up. Okay. I can free look. Uh, raise eject cover. I don't think I want to do- I'm going down! I'm going down! Okay, I gotta stay- I gotta stay going. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna go to space. I guess. Am I in space yet? Whoa. Whoa. I'm in space. That was quick. Okay. Look at this, this is so cool! This is why they wanted you to play with a controller, so you can do fine movement like this. Look at that, that's really cool. Um, where am I going? I guess I'm just supposed to do anything. Um, okay, let's look at my equipped scout launcher. Right bumper. Uh, launch scout? Uh. That is so cool! I can launch a scout out and take pictures to see what's over someplace. That's awesome. What happens if I lock on? Timber hearth. Oh, it tells me what it is. What's this? The Addle Rock. That's where they wanted me to go. I guess I should go? Uh, hold A to match velocity? What's that supposed to mean? Eh, is that like air brakes or something? Velocity matched. <gasps> match the velocity of the target. Engage autopilot. Let's see what you can do. Stage two, accelerating toward destination. This is awesome, by the way. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna stop flying towards this thing. <gasps> okay, just barely missed that. I literally was maneuvering myself in my chair over here to try and avoid that. Okay, autopilot seems to be like the better option. How do I like flip? Can I like flip, go left and right? Can I roll or yaw? I don't know. Okay. Um, let's just take it nice and easy and put away the thing. How do I, how do I, how do I land? How do I, okay, I, landing mode. Ah, okay, this is strange. Okay, um, up. Okay, we landed. Down. Am I landed? Oh, cool. That was stressful. That was very, very stressful. Okay. Do I need my suit out here or am I good? What's this? That looks valuable and mysterious. I'm gonna assume I do not need my suit. I need my suit. I, I, I need my suit. I was choking. I definitely need my suit. Okay, cool, awesome. Good to know that this little asteroid does not have any oxygen on it. Oh my goodness, the camera is weird and wonky. It's like Mario Galaxy, because it's such a small thing. Oh boy, this is so cool. Man, why haven't I played this game? Huh. Oh, we got a little bit of parkour going on here. Who built this little plank thing here for no reason? Okay, what's this say? Esker signal scope, signal scope log. Day 48, still not picking up Ryback's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51, listen to chirt play for a while today, unrelated. 
Someone should tell Profi and Gosan their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Ryback's doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know, it was probably nothing. No, it's back again today, too. Something strange is coming from Timberhearth. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timberhearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken. I better talk to Nice. Okay. Signal scope. What, what am I doing? I found the music. Outer Wilds Adventures Unknown? Wait, wait, wait. Zoom in. What is this doing? So this detects music? Is that the place he said he heard of the harmonica? Okay, that is actually a little creepy. And that's where the banjo music's coming from? Why is there music coming from these planets? This is strange. <laughs> um, but I guess that's fine. Um, this is our planet, so anyone playing music here? Wait, is that our planet? Is that? I don't know where I am. I'm lost. I'm stuck. I'm alone. Help. Oh, okay. I have a jetpack. I have to use the triggers to, to use it. Okay. But I have fuel. I have to be careful. Okay. Um. Okay. This is actually super cool. This is actually kind of super cool. I want to see what my ship log said. Oh, boy. So, uh, ship log is over here. No. Let's return the suit. This is the ship log. Um. Lunar. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Lunar lookout. Lunar ruins. Rumored entry. I hear there are no my ruins somewhere on the Atler Rock. No one knows what they are or why they are built. Okay, that's where I am now. Lunar lookout. A lookout platform with a spectacular view of the solar system. Esco uses their signal scope here to keep tabs on the other travelers. Okay, that's where I am. Uh, th that's where I just was. Um, Esker's Signoscope log reports harmonica music coming from somewhere on Timberhearth. They claim it sounds just like Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. That's creepy. Uh, I guess I should try and find those ruins then, eh? Alright, let's take a little peek. Oh my, I think I found them. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is cool. Whoa, there's just a giant crater with, ow, ow, a hole in it? Wait, what's this? What's this? What's this? What is this? A pickaxe? Was somebody mining here? Eh, up. Up, up, up. Refuel jetpack. Play recording. Let's play the recording. Chert's research notes property of Chert. Okay. This is an old crater. The neat thing about it is here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of an ice outskirts of dark bramble. Ugh. I'd pose it that Atla Rock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble lies now. To follow up, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed and other astral bodies in the solar system. Curious. So it seems like a chunk of the other planet broke off and smashed into this little moon? I guess this is a moon. I don't know what it is. But it is turning without me. That's concerning. Uh, where are these ruins, by the way? This rock is a lot bigger than I thought it was from space. Okay, um, okay, I'm up. Ruins are not in there. It'd be nice to be on the sunny side for a little bit. Let's stick around on the sunny side where it's nice and bright. Ooh, is this it? Is this it? Is this the ruins? Oh, I think so. Whoa, what are you? It stuck to me, it stuck to me. Whoa, I moved it into one of the spots. Wait, I should not be standing in here. It looks like it's dialing something. What did it do? I can move it about. Wait, hold on. Can I get rid of it first? Hold on, I want to look at what these are. Some kind of symbols. Looks like the sun? Are these like dialing in different planets? Wait, if I change it, does it change what planet I'm orbiting right now? Hold on, let's see if we go to the sun. 
All right, things start to move. Oh, we've got, oh, viewing lenses. Oh. And then all of a sudden I can see it through. What, but what's the significance of that? I don't understand. Hmm. Okay, anything down here? Symbols on the wall. Okay, I can use the translator. Uh, untranslated. Uh, Coleus. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and I can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant steep, and brittle hollow. Oh, that's really cool. And there's more up here. Celius, however, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one location. Huh. I see. Most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. An update, disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It sends me to po it sends me to posit this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye's signal. You would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. Yeah, then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Cassava, our research from the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. So this is that ancient tribe that they were talking about. Ship log updated. So they were trying to, uh, they were trying to, ooh, pick up a scroll. I got the scroll. Now what do I do? Do I place it in this glowing thing? Oh. Oh, I see, I see. That's how it works. So apparently this oxygen tank refilled. Oh, because of the tree. That's nice. Uh, play recording. Okay, wow. I've seen this ruin in other traveler's pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of know my locator can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I understand of the writing here, I think it was built trying to find something specific. I'm not sure I was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there, see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get back to the old ship and take off. Totally safe, mostly safe. Oh, stars above. Did something go wrong? Oh, that doesn't sound like it ended well for him. Okay, uh, let's just see this. There's a new sophisticated locator we built, and the larger this single locator is. So they're trying to build a new one. Southern Glacier of Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed location. Yes, let's build there. Imagine our young friend Kone would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I will begin construction of a on Brittle Hollow South Pole immediately then. Okay. Seems like that's where I want to go. Anona and those of us originally stranded Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there. But that of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. So they went to Ember Hollow or whatever. Cool. I guess that's where I should go. Um... I wonder which one of these is Ember Hollow. I have no idea. Oh, that's the interloper right over there. <laughs> what is happening? Why is everything rotating? I didn't do anything. This is super mysterious. So it seems like this is a exploration game more than a survival game, but it does have survival elements to it. Look at that little map on the side. I just realized it's showing my path on the planet. That's super helpful. Oh, this has got so many cool little touches to it that just make it a really fun experience. Huh. Okay, I think I might play more of this, but I do think that this will be the end of the first episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, had a little bit of fun, and are as intrigued as I am. I know probably at this point most people have played this game and are just going to be watching as I flounder around. So, uh, I mean, hey, that's, that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to entertain the folks, so if this is entertaining to you guys, then I'm doing the right job. But anyways, I think that is where I'm going to call it here. And we'll play more next time. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode of Outer Wilds. If you did, leave a like. And if you haven't already and you would like to, subscribe to see more Outer Wilds and all the other things I post right here on this channel. And as always, guys, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.